again for the recording. Uh -huh. So we had three unusual days yes. last day. Uh, it was 10th, 10th of December, 11th of December. It was the birthday of Laura Blaškova. Uh, the day before was the main day of Marina. And today is the birthday of Eric. So we, we would like to congratulate all these three students. We have small presents for you. And for all of you, and for all of you, we will sing happy birthday. So we will wait for the teacher. Don't go to the back. Okay. Okay. So we are going to sing. Uh, we are going to sing happy birthday to all of you. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear our students. Happy birthday to you. Okay, enjoy the time. Out in the river over there, you can see a boat with the orange top right, a, right away. That's the Apple Door lifeboat, and when we go round that side, you'll be able to see it much, much better. It will be closer. And this one, they keep in the water all the time. The shipyard is still working. Now, many of the large cities near the sea around England used to have shipyards where they built ships. But today, if you want a large ship, it is much cheaper to go to Japan or to Korea. So many of our large shipbuilding yards have closed. But this small one here is still working. And there have been shipbuilders here for hundreds of years. What is this? What is it? The office. Is this the post office? Yeah. Post box, isn't it? Yeah? Okay. Now, what are those letters there? Uh, what letter is that? E? e? And what's that? R. And what's that? Two. 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 And what's that? Crown. Crown. <coughs> okay, so what do you think E is? Edward. <laughs> Who has a crown in England? Elizabeth. Who? Yeah, Elizabeth. So E is Elizabeth. R is Regina, meaning queen. Regina. And two is. Good. So it's Elizabeth II. Take a photograph. My name's Owen, I've seen that, he's a full-time cop, so he's called Martin. Um, I'm the station mechanic here, so part of my duty is to look after and maintain all the equipment that you can see. Um, I believe you've been to Ilfracombe this week already? Yeah. yeah. Well, at Ilfracombe they've got what they call a Mersey class lifeboat, and all the lifeboats in the RNLI are named after rivers. So, at the moment they've got a Mersey at Ilfracombe, and when that boat gets replaced for a more modern boat, the Shannon class, named after the river Shannon and Island. Um, in the station here we've got two main boats. We've got the Atlantic 75, which is our inshore boat. It's got a range or a duration of approximately three hours of maximum, maximum speed, which gives it a, a range of approximately 90 miles. If you reduce the speed down, it increases the range and the duration you can stay out for so It carries a crew of three. So it goes with a minimum of three and a maximum of three crew. And we've got about 30 of you guys here today. Believe it or not, we could get you all on that boat and it will still stay afloat. So it will be a little bit nice and tight and, and, and comfortable, or uncomfortable, depending on how well you get on with your neighbours. But it will support an awful lot of, of, of buoyancy in there. So support a lot of people in the way. Can you, can you tell them um, what jobs people do who, who volunteer? All, all our volunteers uh, come from various different um, trades and backgrounds. We've got a person that works in a, in a local bar, so she serves behind the bar and serves uh, as a waitress in the restaurant. We've got, uh, 
we have we have design engineers that work in the local shipyard. We've got plumbers, electricians, just but you, you name it. We've got somebody from whatever walk of life you can think of, even to people that have been fortunate enough to retire early, sort of around about the age of 50. They they help out on the crew. They help with the launch and the recovery. Ask you if are there also any women among you? We have we have one female member of the crew at the moment. Uh, we did have three at one stage, but because of work commitments, one joined the ambulance service and they worked shift hands. So she had to say, I'm sorry, but I can't um, respond to the page as frequently as I could before. So she stood down from the crew. We have um, two other ladies that's involved with the station as lodging authorities. And our lifeboat operations manager is, is also female. So the big, big boss of the station, with me and Martin, we've actually sort of answer to, or our boss, is, is a lady. So yes, there is females. How many lives do you save a day? How many lives do you save? That's, um, so maybe a week is better? Um, that's a very difficult one to answer because you never ever at the same day twice. Um, throughout the year, we probably rescue in excess of 12 to 15,000 people from the sea around the UK. Like doing this job? Do I like doing this job? If I didn't, I wouldn't do it. Um, people on the other side of that, people say, do you ever get scared? And I've also told them, I said, the day I get scared is the day I give it up. Because if, I, if I've got that fear behind it, then I can't do my job properly. So at the moment, touch wood. Um, yes, I do enjoy it. And no, I don't get scared at the moment. But that time may or may not come. Hopefully not. Good. Thanks ever so much, Owen, for taking the time. All right. We watched the film Tarka the Otter, and here's one called Otter's Halt. It's a nice picture of the otter. Puffins, yeah? And these are, these are the bird that Tim was telling you about at, uh, at Lundy Island. Puffins. <clears throat> here in the windows, lots of people have here proud to support the lifeboats. Yeah? And they have the sign. Yeah. So, what does it say? Glimpse of you. Mm. No? So? Roman, you have a It's a view on the It's a view. If you glimpse, you, have a quick, you can have a quick look at something. Now, are there any views here if we look? Yeah? yeah. If we look down here, that's the view that you can glimpse. So it's called Glimpse of You because. There. Mm -hmm. So take a photograph of the glimpse of you, 102, and then take a photograph of here. So you've got a, t a photograph of both things, yeah? So now take a photograph of that one. Great. <laughs> Can you all listen a minute? No, don't make your phone call. Behind me is a fish and chip shop. Yeah. It's called, you can see the name, the Royal Place. But it is spelled wrong. Place is P L A C E, Royal Place. But the name of a fish like this, this fish is called a place. So they are playing with the name. It's the Royal Place the royal place to come, and the royal fish as well, playing with the words. He said, he said, is that, Ya vas vitam. Once more. Ya vas vitam. Very good. Anyway. Welcome to the Maritime Museum, the Museum of the Sea for the whole of North Devon. Uh, 
There's quite a lot of you. So it's best if you divide up into groups and go to different parts of the museum. If you have any questions, uh, there's two or three people here who can probably answer your questions for you. If I can't give you the answers to your questions, I will make something up. <laughs> and here you can see that Prince Charles was here. Yeah? Yep. You see the picture of Prince Charles? It's a long time ago. Came, when did he come here? 1984. 1984. So here's questions, things to find out. Here's boards and here's pencils. And you can find out the different rooms. Mark, yeah. Borrow a sump pen. They are downstairs. Yeah, they might have. Yeah. 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 And here are the white funnel fleet, and here's landing at Clavelli, where we're just about to go to because the ships used to come and then little boats went out to uh, to bring people to land and uh, there's a picture of Clo Valley very proud of being North Devon from North Devon my grandparents went on the card queen and there's a picture of them on the wall your grandparents? My grandparents. Huh? <laughs> now my grandparents. They were on the So it was a big treat for my grandparents to go out because they were hard working farmers. But they had they got dressed up in their best clothes and they everyone enjoyed going on a steamer trip in Victorian times. And uh, here are the students filling in the worksheets in the museum. It's a, it's a great way of going around the museum, having little questions that they, they have to answer. This sort of ship here, these here in the shipyard up there, these are the ships. Now you wouldn't think that because that there's no water in the river now, you wouldn't think you could get ships like that up this river. But by six o'clock tonight, that will be full of water. When we went to Lynmouth, and Tim told you about the lifeboat story, about them taking it over the hill, and this is the one that we saw in Lynmouth, remember? Uh -huh. Yeah, from a uh, hundred years ago. There you can see Lynmouth, 1899. And that was when they carried, where they carried the lifeboat over the hill and then went over to South Wales. So now the students are going from one room to the next room and answering all the questions. Are you enjoying it? Yes. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah, it's fun. Okay.